Welcome to Flash Basics Tutorial 14 Tween Snowman When we finish this tutorial we are going to have this little video. These are straight tweens another tween. This is two tweens where it hides behind the mountain and comes up. This tween brings a hat in, that's the guided tween, and then I just have some frame animation. I have the CS5 program open and I'm going to start a new FLA. Keep the action script 3, make the width 700, the height 550, and I want to pick up a light blue color for the sky, so I'm going to start with this dark east blue here. I'm going to click on it again, go over to the pinwheel, and make it very, 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 very light. There we go. And accept that. Okay. I just want that to be a little bit lighter, so I'm going to open the properties panel, go back to this stage color, back on the pinwheel, and take it up even a little bit further. There. That's better. Call layer one the back B A C K G the full background the furthest back fifty percent and I'm going to pick up white and I'm going to have a blue stroke, my rectangle tool, and I'm just going to make one and I'm going to show you how I made the first one, then I'm going to make three, two more on my own. There we go like that. Pick up the selection tool, grabbing that square, trying to make some roundness to it, and that's my first snowbank. I'm going to pause and I'm going to make two more layers and on each layer I will have another snowbank. So now let's just look how turn them all off. There's the the background. That's the furthest layer back. I'm calling this the left ground. It's on the left side so that ugly part isn't seen. And this is the right which is the front. Select the top layer, insert a layer, and call it bottom, B-O-T-T, -T, bottom. That's the bottom of the snowman. And we're going to start off by picking up our oval tool. I want to make that stage a little bigger, I think, 100. Yeah, that's good. And I'm going to make a little circle here shift down and a little circle right there and see because it's on top it's in front of that that line there's where it starts and I'm going to go up about 50 40 frames and insert a keyframe I'm going to go up to way up to about 500 and those three bottom layers. I'm going to right click and insert keyframes to bring all my snow banks up. Let's go back to frame 40 of the bottom layer. Get your selection tool and we're just going to have this grab it now it's no good. Make sure you highlight it, get it all, bring it down to about here. We just want that go straight down. Pick up your free transform tool and make it a bit bigger and set it right. I want it not quite there, I want it to be over here. Select somewhere in this, anywhere in this upper layer, right click create a shape tween. There we 
those shape tween so that when it gets here it gets big go all the way up to the end of this line at the 500 of that layer right click insert a keyframe to bring that all the way up now we can lock that that bottom insert another layer call it the mid M I D D as in the middle of the snowman we don't want that to start until the bottom is in place and we'll let it have rest for a couple of frames so up around frame 45 insert a blank keyframe and we're going to do something similar here we're going to have a ball come down this one and jump on top of that so pick up your oval tool again keep the same stroke and fill start about here shift key down make a little circle go up to about frame 80 85 insert a keyframe grab your selection tool make sure the whole thing has been selected and we're going to do this in two two passes we're going to bring it to about here and with your free transform tool make it slightly bigger holding my shift down so I can make a circle slightly down, a little bigger than that there we go that's a good oh, even a little yeah a little bigger than that because it's got to be the middle of this that's a good size click anywhere in here right click create shape tween so that'll happen for us and when it gets here it's now going to change directions on us so tab over to about oh 115 ish right click insert a keyframe and now have it just come across straight and go right on top of there because it's flying through the air it's not going to get any bigger right click in here shape tween and there it is so now that's two lock that layer go back insert another layer call it head H E A D that's the head of our snow person give a few blank frames here in my case I'm up around 125 ish right click insert a blank keyframe pick up my oval tool again starting right here make a shift down make a little ball it's got a long way to go so let's go up to about 185 right click insert keyframe selection tool make sure you got the crosshairs and bring that down to about here for a minute just so it's past this line and we don't want it to gather a whole lot of snow so we don't want it to be overly big remember it's going to be the head of this guy and I think that's a good size proportional to that maybe just a little bigger If you're having problems using the transform free transform tool, you can select it and go over here and change these values up and down. See this? I want that a little bigger. I like doing things by my eyes. And that's the size of the snowman head I'm going to use. Anywhere in here, right click, insert shape tween. Let's bring it down. Now, I want it to be behind this left, this left. Select the head layer and drag it down so it's above the back layer. Then I'm going to have the left layer. Then I want the right layer. There we go. How's that look now? 
Yeah, see that? It's coming down and it goes in behind that one. We now want to have another head come up here in front of this layer. So I'll select the left ground, the left side, insert a layer, and call that HID2. Make sure all the layers are locked. Unlock that HID layer. And we'll have it hidden for a few frames in behind this hill while it's rolling up again. So in my case, up around 210-ish of that new HID layer right here, this new HID layer, around 210. Right click, install a blank keyframe. And I just want to go back to this frame right here. Unlock the HID layer. Grab that frame. And if I close all the, hide all the frames and just see this one, that's that HID. I want to use my selection tool, select that get the crosshairs, right click, copy that head, so now we have the proper size. Bring them all back to view again. Lock all the frames. Go back to this head 2-1. Select that keyframe and somewhere right around here right click, paste in place, but move it up a little bit here like it's going to come up and over this hill. There it is. Go fast and we're just going to very make a short jaunt so I'm at 210 with my with my first keyframe I'm just going to go up about 235 ish insert a keyframe grab this put it on top there it is and click in here somewhere and do a shape tween and boom that lands in spot so now we have three layers of a snowman let's just see what this looks like we haven't even tested it yet so let's have a little test here there's the first one here comes the second one and down the hill in behind the hill up and out and boom there you go that's using just straight tweens no action code, no guided tweens. This tutorial is getting pretty long, so I'll stop it now. There will be a follow-up where we'll put the guided tween, guiding the hat onto his head, and a few frame animations. And it will be Flash Basics Tutorial 15, More Tweening Snowman. Hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learned.